How about that? That's half man and half biscuit. That's a song about the mountain we're just about to go up. Lord Hereford's Knob, otherwise known as Tumpa. Tonight you'll be sitting on top of Lord Hereford's Knob. Dun, 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 dun. Tonight you'll be sitting on top of Lord Hereford's Knob. Tumpa, Tumpa, you might need a jumper. <laughs> I was just saying, walking up this lane from Talgarth, which is a small little mountain town at the foot of the Black Mountains. It was once called Talgart in the 11th century. It means brow or ridge. Beautiful little town is one of well, it is one of my favourite little towns. Paul used to love Talgarth too. Passed through it many times over the years. And we've set off on some really good walking adventures from Talgarth. And this is one of them. What I'm doing today, guys, I mean, I'm walking uphill. So what I'll do is I'll just go steady. What I'm doing today is heading off at Ross Dirion, which is the fifth highest peak in the Y catchment. All the waters running off Ross Dirion flow either into the Ennig or the Linfi, which are two tributaries of the River Y. It's the northwestern escarpment of the Black Mountains, and it's a real boomer of a hill. It's 713 meters, which is what, 2,335 feet, or 34 feet. And I was just thinking now that I've come back onto this route from Talgarth up to Ross Dirion. We'll get a look here now. I've just seen a pheasant go through this gate here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to follow the pheasant and I'll show you Ross Dirion. Here it is now. It's a real boomer. So we're heading off up to Ross Dirion, which is actually a, a mountain which is part of the Wan Fak Massif, which is the highest point in the Black Mountains at 811 metres. Bit of wind, so I'll put it there guys. Which is what, 2,660 feet Wan Fak been up there too. But I'm heading off to Ross Dirion, across to Tumpa, which is otherwise known as Lord Hereford's Knob, which was made famous by the post-punk band, what is it, Half Man Half Biscuit, by the track, well they, they sang this track called Lord Hereford's Knob and it's a really funny tune, I'll play you it later because I took a recording of it, it's on my dictation machine. And then we're going to drop down from Tumpa to the base of Hay Bluff and back into Hay and Wye. But on the way, we'll take a look at some round barrows, a stone circle. We'll check out some amazing views from the top of Ross Dirion and Tumpa. And we'll check out the American Werewolf in London scene where Jack and David get off the truck. You know, and the old farmer says to them, stick to the road, lads, stick to the road. So yeah, we've got a few things to look at today, but meanwhile, here's Ross Dirion. As I said, a real boomer of a hill. So that's where we're heading today. 
you can see the fissures in the mountain. That's all the water running off the mountain into the Y. Well, I'm loving it already. I just had this thought. I love going into the mountains or into these places from these small mountain towns, such as Talgarth. Uh, I always have done. Paul and I used to talk about it. We actually used to talk about this subject, and that is the subject of the foothills. Getting into the foothills. You see, a lot of people, and this, I don't mean to be critical, it's just an observation, but a lot of people, they tend to jump in their cars or their vans and go straight for the car parks, which more or less start a third or half the way up. And they're right in the mountains already. And they never ever get to experience the foothills. And I've been steadily climbing and soon I'll be into the mountains. Oh, the sun is shining. Fair few clouds in the sky, but it's dry. The birds are singing. This is a beautiful mixed woodland. It's the first time back for eight years on this route. It's a fabulous route as well. All right, catch you up guys. Good so far. Oh, magnificent, fabulous. See what I mean guys? The foothills, the foothills of the Black Mountains. Absolutely wonderful. Isn't that impressive? It's all the folds in the land. The green before you kind of meet the acid grassland of the mountain. You see the light playing off the northwestern escarpment there. It's looking fabulous. Okay guys, let's carry on. Fostil, Fostil. The sheep is a logo. That's pretty cool, huh? Friendly dog, I'll call it. <laughs> How you doing, friendly dog? That's the only one to have, mate. How you doing, beauty, eh? Hey? You don't mind cameras, do you? You're all right. How you doing today? Good on you. Fostil, I like the name. Yeah. I noticed the logo, the sheep. I thought that was, I thought that was pretty cool. The sheep? Yeah, sheep. yeah well, it's shaped the landscape for sure. Yeah, and you guys, you know, you've been here a long time. Uh, well, sheep have kept man alive, haven't they? That's too true. Yeah, when you think about what they've been used for, yeah, way back, way back and clothing and all sorts and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So my grandparents were farmers in North Herefordshire. Oh, right. You know, they're old school as well, they were. Yeah, yeah. Good folk. Yeah. My granddad, proper, you know, bell twine. <laughs> No, I thought you might understand that. Take care. Bye. Easy. <laughs> yeah, it's just old school 
old school farming here. I was just chatting to Elizabeth. That was really beautiful. Really nice chat. And uh, she was telling me that they cleared all the roads when the big snow came, all the way down to Talgarth. And um, it's, it's often down to the farms and the farming community to clear these roads. She said it was a hard winter, hard farming. And I can imagine that, you know. I said, well, the snow was like this. She goes, and, <laughs> and a heck of a, lot, heck of a lot more, she said. Probably up to your head and your shoulders. But yeah, wonderful chat. Yeah, I mean, um, she was talking about sheep. Sheep making, making mankind, making us, she was talking about. Sheep going way back, thousands of years. They know about sheep. Here's Tumper, guys, Lord Hereford's knob. 690 meters, 2,260 feet. Here it is. There we go. That's where we're heading later. Here's a picture of Tumpa from near the Three Cocks, just outside of Talgarth, a couple of miles outside of Talgarth. It was an amazing sight. Paul and I had walked the River Linfrey from the source up at Bulch, near, um, was it Blan Linfrey Castle, which is a 12th century castle, uh, which was built to protect a pass that the Romans had established hundreds of years before. But as you can see, it's a real boomer of a mountain. It was an impressive sight as we crossed the road there. Yeah, so that's where we're heading, guys. Up onto Ross Dirion, across the ridge, and towards Tumpa. Just as grand as the mountains. Absolutely wonderful tree. It's just in there. Bottom left. Just ran away, tucked itself in there. It's not going to move, it doesn't want to draw attention to itself. But a harmless wildlife in the mountains. It's quite a way to climb up there. I'm just on a gate at the moment. I'm going to drop down and then climb back up. On the road again. I just love the way these mountains just loom over you. I like being in the valleys. I absolutely love it down here. Kind of enveloped by the mountain, you know, in the heart and the womb of the mountain. It's nice being on top. It is, the views are great. The vast expanse of space, fantastic. But there's something about being in the midst of a mountain, isn't there? It's absolutely wonderful. New baby lambs. Well, they're on the market. They look beautiful. And what a scene. That's Ross Dirion in the background there, guys. Bathed in light. More Y waters all flowing into the Y. This will be flowing into the Linfi down at the bottom. 
or it may even flow straight into the Wye. But this is one of the brooks. All coming off the tops. It's a full on old school farm. Hard working mountain farm this. That way. No barriers. Nature envelops all. <laughs> no stopping it. It's free, man. Has its own will, its own intent. Of course, man has tried to curtail it, but it will never succeed in fully controlling nature. Bird. Wonderful. Pheasant. Don't know what that is. Do you know what that is, that bird? Cuckoo. In the distance. Yeah, there's quite a few. Beautiful. Okay guys, an update. I've just checked the time and I've been having such a good time filming and going over this old ground that I've left myself with not enough time to get up to the top of Ross Dirion. It's gone one o'clock and I've got to catch my bus at 4.30. 4.30, 20 to five. So uh, that gives me what? three and a half hours my ankles sore I'm really sorry about that but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to the to the top of uh, Tumpa Lord Hereford's knob I should be able to make it back to Hay on Wye then in good time but yeah that's a shame I'll have to come back and do it again some other day but I'm gonna have to make sure that I catch that bus otherwise it's a 20 odd mile walk back home <laughs> But meanwhile, I've had a really good time. Top of Lord Hereford's knob. <laughs> that you'll be sitting on top of Lord Hereford's knob. That's the trick point. You might need a jumper. <laughs> He's sitting on top of Lord Hereford's knob. <laughs> How about that? That's half man and half biscuit. That's a song about the mountain we're just about to go up. Lord Hereford's knob otherwise known as Tumpa. Tonight you'll be sitting on top of Lord Hereford's knob. Dun, 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 dun. Tonight you'll be sitting on top of Lord Hereford's knob. Tumpa, Tumpa, you might need a jumper. <laughs> All right, I'll see you up there, guys. I'm remembering Paul sat here. Bound to remember Paul. This is an old walk we did. Yeah. Always with me. He'd like that. He'd find that funny. <laughs> Alright guys, peace. Look what I find.
all the way from the United States. The last grown up in the woods. I wonder what Carl is doing here. <laughs> That's a long way to come. All right, Carly. Good to have your company, mate. For those of you that don't know the last grown up in the woods, she's got a fabulous channel. Her knowledge with regards to nature and the natural world is almost second to none. She has this ability to just absorb information and offer it to us guys in a really wonderful, amusing and um, other times serious way. So if you haven't checked out The Last Grown Up in the Woods, check out the link below. Carly her name is. She'd be glad to see you. All right. Peace to you, Carly. All the way from the Black Mountains, the Y catchment on the uh, Welsh English border. Okay. Peace. Now there's a special memory. I have a photograph of Paul stood right there. He's looking up at the mountain, admiring the view, living life, connecting with his primordial being, I would say. That's what happens when you come out to places like this. He's looking forward to getting on the top there, heading towards Tumpa. Yeah, what a memory. Just coming across this view here. Absolutely wonderful. That just struck me, that did. And Paul looking up. Absolutely beautiful. Tumpa, Tumpa, you might need a jumper. Tonight you'll be sitting on top of Lord Hereford's knob. Tonight you'll be sitting on top of Lord Hereford's knob. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> All right. Up, up and away. Tumpa! I'll come back again, guys, and do Ross Dirion. Meanwhile, I'll do an om for Ross Dirion. <laughs> As I camped out one evening to take the midnight air, I heard a maiden grieving from somewhere over there. Who is it? You are mourning for whom do you wear grey? That I pine for no one I just can't pay my way Ever since the chattering classes Invaded Hepton Bridge And priced the likes of me and mine To the butts of the Pennine Ridge To South East Wales I was forced to flee And now I have no job That's why tonight I'm sitting On top of Lord Hereford's knob wave expenses to try and help you out for your beauty influences the landscape hereabouts look up my betrothed the three cocks be sure she'll see you right while I go up to Yorkshire and there avenge your plights and reports were filtering through to me the pair were drowning in bliss I can't recall having ever been cuckolded quite like this I gave up hope ironically for Lent Come see me living in a bivvy 
if you're ever a penny dent. Although upon reflection I've been a trifle green, still think with affection on everything that's been so prepared. Gotta get back down. So I'm trail running. Back down. I've been running up parts of it as well. Just seeing what I've got, seeing if I've still got it. And yeah. I've still got it in there, but I did get tired very easy, going up that is. All right, we're almost back down. Just gonna take in the views. There's a guy hiking up here. Here we are. And a hiker. In an absolutely fabulous location. Okay. Let's get going. I'm not sure what time it is, but I've got to get back into Hay and Y. Hey there, hiker. All right. How you doing, mate? Good. Do you mind cameras? No. Here we are. Here he is. Look. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, I live near Newport. Oh, good on you. You're hiking back home. <laughs> uh, no. no, not quite. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hereford. Hereford. Only across the way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I bump a lot of people from Hereford. Yeah. On these hills. It's our back country, really, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know. I don't want to wait anymore, I'm tired of looking for answers Take me someplace where there's music and there's laughter I don't know if I'm scared of dying, but I'm scared of living too fast, too slow Regret, remorse, hold on, oh no, I've got to go There's no starting over, no new beginnings, time raises on You just got to keep on, keeping on Gotta keep on going, looking straight out on the road We can't worry about what's behind you It's coming for you, further up the road Try not to hold on to what is gone I try to do right what is wrong I try to keep on keeping on Yeah, I just keep on keeping on I hear a voice calling Shackles I've made in an attempt to be free Be it for reason, be it for love I won't take the easy route This is where the opening scene of the American Wealth in London was filmed, guys. If ever you've wondered, it's right here. If you remember, there's the hill, look. There's the mountain. I'll show you it now. You can see the distinctive shape of Tumpa and the car coming down the road. Gospel Pass, in actual fact. And then arriving here with Hay Bluff up there. But the truck pulled in here, look. Came along here. Blue moon, 
I'm pulled in here. Remember that, guys? See that? See that little island there? And let David and Jack out of the back. They were, they were in the back of the truck full of sheep, weren't they? <laughs> and at the top there, behind them, was Hay Bluff. Yeah, they got out right there. Round Barrow is a burial mound. It's been here about two and a half thousand years. It's been here a long time. I'll put the name of it in the video. I've just had a banana and I've practically run down from Tumpa right here uh, probably two and a half K maybe my ankle a bit sore carrying a bit of weight but yeah that was a fabulous day guys I'm going to turn the camera off now and I'm just going to trail run it back down to Hay because we're still quite high up Hay Bluff is only here but yeah thank you very much for coming along with me it was a it was a great a great day out spectacular views uh, more river wide waters coming off those mountains could see the Y in the distance actually from the top that was fabulous met some great people Wonderful people. Um, I had some good feelings, some good memories. That was an old route that Paul and I had taken some years ago and it was, it felt really good to go back over old ground. I recommend that to you, you know, to go back over old ground sometimes. I'd like to thank you guys for all the likes you give me. You give me some great likes guys. I appreciate it. Literally without you I have no channel and without you I don't have any friends. <laughs> I like to talk to you guys. I like to share views and share our passions for the outdoors. It's what makes it real. So thank you and thank you for the amazing comments. I get some amazing comments. I like to elaborate upon them. Not everyone does but you know there are a handful of people that continue the conversation and I really enjoy that. And uh, if you guys don't know 
anything about my channel, uh, be sure to subscribe because you know I'm uploading every two weeks now. Um, I try and produce really good videos, good content, good quality uh, shows, if you like. So, if you'd like to receive some of my videos in the future, please do subscribe. Uh, I look forward to your company. Well, I'm cooling down now, and I can't stay here for too long. I've got to get back down. I've got to catch my bus. I think I have a. I think I have the time. Whoo! Yeah, that was a wonderful day. I'll slow down. Until next time, guys. Take good care. And be well. And be friendly with the world. <laughs> I love being friendly with the world. It's what makes it for me. Alright. Peace forever. Take care.